Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Nick. It's your boy, Nick. It's your boy, Nisi, coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today on the channel. So I wanted to talk about VCA compressors on the master bus, why I feel like they are a very, very important part of hip hop music, how to use VCA master bus compression on your, you know, your two bus essentially to really juice up your mix. We're gonna look at the history as well. So if you guys are interested in any uh, more different types of videos, or if you found this helpful, please go ahead and drop a comment or a like down below or any other video suggestions, I'm happy to get to it. So let's not waste no time, let's get into this music that we got here right now this artist i've been working with lately her music is really amazing i love working with her i'm going to drop the uh you know link to her profile down below so you guys can check out more of her music all right let's go good by design look good nothing less than best dress just like i should i remember days when i used to be modest now anything on me must be exotic snake skin alligator cashmere yeah they said kate wouldn't chop you Ridiculous price, been a lot here Money my free, don't go where I go And I don't need no Came up out of pressure, so I had to see better Niggas held back, why they was years ahead of us Now I'm gon' take that shit, no little Every chance I get, I'm gon' get with them It took years to stitch this sweater Gucci fabric, trim with leather I'm so chic, they all just shut up Won't ball like this, then get your better I've been shopping in me Alright, so that's the song that we have right here today And now I wanted to talk about a couple of different types of master bus compressors here today so we have the api 2500 we're going to also talk about the ssl comp as well as the uh shadow hills mastering bus compressor why is vca compression so important for i, sp I feel like rap music how it can juice up your mix really get it to get close to the finish line because that's the most important thing about um, mixing especially you kind of don't want to have to put too much heavy load on your back when it comes to mastering you know you got so many other things to worry about when you're recording yourself from home and mixing you want to figure out what's a good way to get to that finish line a little bit faster so let's look at the history of vca master bus compression so the the one of the most important legends of all time very underrated nobody ever talks about how dr dre was an engineer they always talk about how he was a producer which is very fair but dr dre as an engineer is one of the greatest one of the greatest engineers one of the greatest mixing engineers for rap ever of all time so we got to think about somebody like dre you know he also had artists like 50 cent Eminem himself, NWA, you know, and a lot of the times that sound, that snappy, that hip hop sound that we're already used to knowing is the SSL sound. So interestingly enough, you got somebody like Dr. Dre who, you know, his bus compressor was actually located on his console, which was the SSL G console that he, he liked to use a lot. So a lot of these songs, a lot of these hits that 50 Cent and Eminem were doing were running through, you know, a lot of the times that console and a lot of the times at the back end of the console was the bus compressor. The bus compressor really is a very beautiful thing because people say it glues making a mix. But in reality, for me, gluing a mix is actually a mindset. You know, if you have a kick in an 808 that don't go together, there's nothing you can do to glue that. So a bus compressor will not guarantee for you to have your mixes sound glue. Gluing your mix is more of a situation where it's your mindset you know you gotta pick sounds that sound good together you gotta pick a hi-hat that sounds good a snare that sounds good that works off of it together so there's no gear that can replace your ear most important thing about dr dre is that you got something like an ssl it had the vca compressor not only on the bus side right on the, the stereo side but also on every single channel being one of the very first consoles that could even do something like that and the g is very good because it's known for being very snappy aggressive boom boom when you think about 50 cent boom Boom, 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 that have me in the club, bottle full of bubba. And you think about some of Eminem's amazing songs too, you know? Like a lot of the times Dr. Dre, he was mixing with that SSLG bus compressor on, giving some of that punch, giving some of that snap. Okay, so after that, let's look at how important something like the bus comp was for Dr. Dre. When he came into the game, he started with an SSL. And even to when he was a young buck to being an old head, it's always been the SSL. The thing about making music is that you want some consistency. You want that SSL to be like your best friend. One thing you know about your best friend, that's my best friend, is that your friend is supposed to always be there for you, to always keep you stable, to always get the best of you. So that's what something like an SSL G bus compressor is very well known for. So let's look at um, you know, how I would apply something like this type of you know VCA SSL bus compressor onto a song like this. Okay. So very first thing we got to understand with the bus compressor right 
is it's not Elmer's glue. It's not going to guarantee that your mix is going to be cohesive. It's not Elmer's glue. It's not Gorilla Glue. No, it's a freaking SSL bus comp. Okay, so the most important thing to always understand is the ratio. So the very important thing about the ratio is listening to the music and understanding what the music needs. When it comes to using bus compression, VCA bus compression, any type of bus compression, and you're using two-track beats, right? You're rapping. You need to understand that your 808 is the most important thing. You need to make sure that you don't lose your 808 because sometimes you use a bus compressor and the 808 completely changes. You know, like the 808, it might saturate a little bit different. Now you're starting to hear like a little bit more high mid in the 808, and that's usually because of the input. So it's not just the compression circuit and the SSL that gives it that gluing factor. It's also the input and the output. It has a transformer. It gives a little bit of body. So let's look at how something like this would uh, you know be pretty good for a song like this so i always understand that it's the ratio L look at this waveform right here usually the 808 is like the loudest thing the 808 and the loud in the kick is usually the loudest thing in rap music with a two-track beat and everything so like a higher ratio works on the tippity tippity top of the jar right a lower ratio lets you put more of your hand inside a cookie jar so you get to collect more of the music okay so let's pay attention to how i would approach something like a ssl bus compressor on a song like this looking for a little bit of that actual warmth characteristic you know warmth is not always appropriate but let's look at if i was going for a warm sound how i would get it out of this vca compressor I remember days when I used to be modest Now anything on me must be exotic Snakeskin, alligator, cashmere Yeah, they said Kate wouldn't chop you Ridiculous price, spend a lot here Money, my free, don't go where I go And I don't need no Came up out of pressure, so I had to see better Niggas here bad, but it was years ahead of us Now I'm gon' take that shit, no little Every chance I get, I'm gon' get with em It took years to stitch this sweater Gucci fabric, true mulata I'm so sheep, they all just shut up Won't ball like this thing by design look good, nothing less than best dressed just like I should I remember days when I used to be modest Now anything on me must be exotic Snakeskin, alligator, cashmere Yeah, they say Kate wouldn't chop you Ridiculous price, spend a lot here Money my free, don't go where I go And I don't need no Came up out of pressure so I had to see better Niggas here bad, while they was years ahead of us Now I'm gon' take that shit, no little so of course something like the ssl bus compressor what it's doing is it's making the 808 a little bit heavier imagine if the 808 was a dumbbell it just gold from weighing 10 pounds to 20 pounds pay attention to the 808 808 is the most important thing that you need to decide when you're using a bus compressor don't ever listen to a youtuber or anybody like that who's like oh you got you gotta use a, you gotta use a bus compressor because that's what the pros do no 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 listen to the music first the music is always going to tell you if you should use a bus compressor or not i usually use the bus compressor towards the end but if i'm doing a full mix i will use it in the beginning though you know because it's kind of it's kind of gonna uh guide me you know it's kind of it's gonna be like follow the leader the bus compressor might just start making the mix uh the 808 become a little harder so i don't have to force myself to do more processing on the 808 and mess it up so just pay attention to how the 808 goes from being a 10 pound dumbbell to a 20 pound dumbbell listen good by design look good nothing less than best dress just like i should I remember days when I used to be modest Now anything on me must be exotic Snakeskin, alligator, cashmere Yeah, they say Kate wouldn't chop you Ridiculous price, spend a lot here Money my free, don't go where I go And I don't need no Came up out of pressure, so I had to see better Niggas here bad, but they was years ahead of us Now I'm gon' take that shit, no little Every chance I get, I'm gon' get with them It took years to stitch this sweater Gucci fabric, true with leather I'm so chic, they all just shut up Won't ball like this, thing. I've been shopping in Milan, grande Spinning big racks because I can MX black card in my hand This white dude running through ran it ran I can't pronounce the shit So sometimes when you don't actually have the stems And you're like, man, I want this bass to hit a little bit harder But you have no way of actually like, you know Going into the two-track B or messing with the multi-tracks Maybe you want to apply a little bit Something like a VCA bus compressor Something like an SSLG comp that will give you that snap That will give you a little bit of that transformer weight Making the 808 a little bit heavier A little bit more, you know, feeling more A little bit more tangible Making it give a little bit more personality Now you really feel like you can feel that 808 Boom, boom And I like to use that in a situation where You see the 808 ain't coming up too frequently it's not coming around too often but i would still want it to be present so if i can't control that well guess what i might have to use something like a bus compressor okay cool so then after that the next type of bus compressor that i wanted to look into is something like a um 
API 2500. Now, interestingly enough, with the API 2500, we understand that we have uh, the API, they got a lot of EQs like the 550A, the 550B, the 560. So API, originally in their consoles, they never even had, they never even had something like a bus compressor who contrasted to where, you know, the SSL at the time when Dr. Dre and them was using it, it was pretty innovative because, you know, that bus compressor had a compression on every single channel and EQ on every channel. And then, you know, you had the bus compressor at the end, you know, but the the difference about the API console was a situation where the API console did not have no bus compressor on it. So people started telling, hey, API, API, we need to get a uh, bus compressor, you know, to, you know, because we love the sound of the EQ. We love the sound of the console, but, you know. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a bus compressor. So what they did is they created this outboard unit, and man, did they give them a damn bus compressor? It's the API twenty five hundred. So interestingly enough, you know the API twenty five hundred came later down the line, somewhere in like the year two thousand or a little bit later, in like late nineteen nineties. You know the SSL that was in the eighties, like a lot of rock music, a lot of rap music was made with that. But the API came in like the two thousand, a little bit later. It did show up a little bit later to the party, but man, when it showed up to the party, that shit went crazy as hell, dog. So the thing about the api let's look at some of the features on the api so the api kind of improves uh you know a lot of the things about um you know vca compressors that the ssl uh, g comp didn't have you know it kind of gave us a couple more ratios like the 1.5 the 3 the 6 it also gave us a, a limiting an infinity ratio as well Additionally, it, it kind of gave us a couple more of the things like the side chaining, and that's very um, pretty important because that makes the API very, very versatile. You know, sometimes that's what I'm saying. Not every bus compressor is appropriate for every type of, uh, you know, uh, song, just like how every type of outfit is not appropriate for every type of uh, occasion. Like, you don't pull up to a funeral in a goddamn pair of slides in the short. You know what I mean? You pull up dressed in a certain way, and that's how you should see bus compressors or any plugin or any tool. It has to fit the damn music the music is going to tell you what to do kind of like how you know people at a party are going to tell you what to wear before you even get there you know so even before you start mixing the music is already going to tell you to do it's the same shit it's not foreign api 2500 brings us a couple of really good features sidechain wise you also have the unlinking feature and i like to use that a lot like on my ad libs and my background vocals where if i put them on you know i might unlink them because i might have them a little bit wobbly it kind of makes it a little bit wobbly you know and i like that a lot but the sidechain filter you have the knee so the knee is kind of like the transition in the compression so i always give it an example like this it's like how how hard do you want the compressor to be talking to you because when somebody's more aggressive they cut their words up a little bit and the transition is not as smooth right so that's kind of what a hard knee is a, a softer knee is more like smooth talking and that's why the api is very good for the language of compression because it, you can get a bunch of different sounds out of this legendary unit okay and you also have the tilt filter so the tilt kind of like changes what the compression is looking at you know this would be like the flat which is the normal then the medium it kind of does a little roll off at the end you know just to, to make the compressor stop looking at too much of the lows that's pretty good for rap music when you might have a two track beat where the 808 is boom 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 you see like most of this like peak energy right here Look at the waveform. I wanted to print it out to show you guys. You see, like, most of the time, like, the peak energy, this is the 808, this is the kick, because those usually are the loudest things in rap music, right? But um, let's also just pay attention to how that sidechain filter lets us take a little bit of pressure away from, you know, that the, the compressor overly pumping, you know? So, um, yeah, usually the 808 and the kick is what's going to drive the bus compressor unless you have a sidechain filter. But me, personally, I like for the 808 and kick to drive the bus compressor because that's what's driving the whole song that 808 pattern boom 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 boom. we always think about the 808 pattern that's what gets us funking in the whip so let's pay attention to how i would use the api 2500 on uh you know a, a song like this I remember days when I used to be modest Now anything on me must be exotic Snakeskin, alligator, cashmere Yeah, they said Kate William shop, yeah Ridiculous price, been a lot here Money, my freedom, go where I go And I don't need no Came up out of pressure, so I had to see better Niggas held back, why they was years ahead of us Now I'm gon' take that shit, no little Every chance I get, I'm gon' get with them It took years to stitch this sweater Gucci, fabric, jewelry, with leather I'm so chic, they all just shut up Won't ball like this, thing. I've been shopping in Milan, grande, spinning big racks because I can. MX black card in my hand. This white dude running through ran it ran. I can't pronounce the shit word for damn. Strip hand crap. Yeah. 
So it's kind of a situation where the music is talking to us. When I put on the API, when I ask Mr. API 2500, how are you doing today? You know what he says? He says, ah, I'm mad. Because that's what it does. Hear how it just makes the 808 sound a little bit more mad, a little bit more juiced up, a little bit more, ah, and a little bit more aggressive. Because it's very mid-range forward, you know, very mid-range forward type of situation with the API. And it has the uh, the op amp in it, which is very, uh, 2520 op amp, which is very known in all the API equipment. The EQ, you know, the EQ, the 560, the 550. So like, let's just listen to uh, the music one more time. Listen to how everything just becomes a little bit more aggressive. And I like this for this song for her because she's so mad. Like she's being like that. So the music is telling me, all right, I need to add a little bit more aggression because that beat go hard. That little drop I put in the beginning, it goes hard. So I got to let the listeners know like, ah, this is a banger. It's a banger. We lit in this bit. You feel me? So pay attention. I've been shopping in my Spinning big racks because I can. Swipe it, run it, do run it, run. I can't pronounce this shit worth a damn. This drip handcraft for telly, yeah. Your mouth just shopping in Milan. Bitch got her pieces, these are the pieces. Income increases, sweet baby Jesus. Supercar keyless, seat off the meters. Hundred racks on clothes, they say it's needless. Find a designer, catch me in my liner. Handcraft for tire, one single buyer. Never want prior, pressure applier. Give me nothing less than best, that's on my soul. They think it's too cold. Watch rose gold, buy and hold out, no, it can't be sold. Fly across the world just to get it if it's worth it. Designer said he to get a damn near luxury purchase. Yeah, cause he earned it. Pay for the service, crafted with purpose. Yeah, yeah, I put Busky on next to Lenard. Cruising my Tesla through Northern Lombard. I'm shopping in Milan. Grande. Spinning big racks because I can. MX black card in my hand. They swipe, they run it, do run it, run. Come on, man. It's like without that API 2500, it's like that big balloon. We just popped it. We just burst the bubble. We just gave the mix some bad news. And now it's kind of like more down tempo. So that's the language of compression. You got to understand these tools is all about the language. How is the music talking to you? The whole time the music is having a conversation with you. You got to listen to it and give it a damn response. So for this song, I personally picked the API 2500 because I like the response it was giving it to me. This song is a banger. You hear that intro? Boom, 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 boom. You hear that intro I made right there? So yeah, I had to. I had to go for something aggressive. So you got to always understand. All of these bus compressors sound absolutely great. Absolutely wonderful. And and the last bus compressor that we're going to talk about today is something the lovely beauty which is the shadow hills mastering bus compressor so the shadow hills mastering bus compressor very interesting very interesting in the situation where you know the shadow hills mastering bus compressor it looks like something that coming out of a sci-fi movie or some shit like that like look at this thing like it looks like something that came out of gotham city it looks like something that batman would have in his studio if he was a rapper little batman so yeah um you got also got the vertigo which is another vca compressor i know plug-in alliance has an emulation but i've never used it and i'm the type of guy i never talk on stuff i haven't used yet so yeah let's look at the shadow hills mastering bus compressor from the inside you know it has a switchable transformers inside of it right the transformers is the same thing that gave the ssl the body oh wow so that must mean in the shadow hills that's what's giving it the body because you know the shadow hills has multiple transformers inside of that bit you see these little yellow things right here those are the transformers that's what give it a weight that's what's going to juice up your 808 if your 808 is lacking you know what i mean so the good thing about the shadow hills is that it actually is split up into a vca circuit which is you know we know vca right i've been talking about it and then you also have the optical circuit which like it's kind of like the same cousin as the la2a the la3a optical circuit kind of using light to do the compression so yeah usually you got a guy like like uh, Joe Ciccarelli, he likes to use a, a, a situation like this where he uses the Shadow Hells Mastering Bus Compressor as well as like the TG12345, which is the Mastering EQ. And that's kind of like his master bus chain. So yeah, you know, if you like his music or any engineer, you should always be looking into what type of like equipment they're using. Not because you want to copy them, but maybe because you, you, you like the sound that they get. You resonate with that sound that they get. Then let's look at a couple of uh, final mentions. You got something like the uh, Dramatic Obsidian 500 
100 series. I know that uh, Michael Brower, he likes to use that one. I love Michael Brower. So, you know, that's probably a, a dope um, unit. There's no plug-in version of it. It's only a hardware version. So maybe you might want to check that out. And then you have somebody like Tony Maserati, who, who if you like his mixes, you know, like all that pop type of music, or he, he worked on rap music too. You know, he even worked with Biggie and shit like that. You know, Biggie's engineer, you know, he likes to use the um smart CLA, uh, C, C1LA, the smart research. And that one is very smooth, very luxurious. It fits Tony Maserati as well. You know, his music is just popping, just nice, a uh, Black Eyed Peas, Fergie type of situation. If you're going for that glamorous type of rap, you know, pop type of sound, maybe you might want to try something like the Smart C1LA. I like when there's a hardware unit that there is no plug-in version of it because, you know, my opinion, the plugins will always be better because the plugins can always get better. Usually when you get hardware, I mean, it's it's hardware. You can't really make it that much better. Of course, it's going to sound great, but the plugin can always get updated. The plugin can always get a new feature, you know, so I think that plugins are, are, are a little bit better than hardware, but hardware is still beautiful. Three different types of transformers that all kind of give a different type of seasoning, honey garlic, mayonnaise, honey mustard, chipotle barbecue, habanero. So let's pay attention to flicking around through these different transformers, how that's going to start to make a difference. And the main thing about Shadow Hills Mastering Bus Compressor is just known for a lot of weight, a lot of size. So interestingly enough, what I'm looking at with these transformers is they all kind of have like a different type of tone. Like I feel like the iron is the warmest one. It kind of smooths the high end. Maybe if you got a harsh mix, you know, you pull up a Shadow Hills Mastering Bus Compressor. Maybe you don't even got to do compression. You got a harsh mix. You just put on that iron and that transformer will kind of smoothen out the top end for you rather than you having to do excessive low pass filtering. That's what bus compression is all about. Making the job a little bit easier for you. Working on the whole enchilada. Okay, then you have something like the steel which I know the steel, it kind of just has a little bit of brightness to it. So I'm only going to be using the VCA circuit and I use the very low ratio if I was going to approach this. So all of these different types of compressors have different ways that they speak. The API is, ah, I'm mad. The SSL, you know, I would say that it is kind of aggressive a little bit still, but it's it's a little bit more neutral. It will snap on you, but as long as you don't mess with it, you know, it, it, will, it will be okay. It will be okay. You know what I mean? It's just having a bad day. But the Shadow Hills Mastering Bus Compressor is so cool and so composed and relaxed. If I'm looking for a song where the rapper's rapping about swag, da -da -da -da, the music is going to talk to me and I'm always going to pull out the Shadow Hills Mastering Bus Compressor. I usually use the Plugin Alliance version, though, but today I'm using the, um, the uh, UAD version. It's the same exact thing, though. But, uh, yeah, you have a bunch of different controls like the attack. You know, they're pretty standard. You have a couple of different um, ratios. You have the flood as well. And let's just pay attention really quickly before we get out of here of how it adds some of that swag. Pay attention to the language of the compression, the mellowness, the, yeah, you know, no, I'm doing good today. I'm good. Like, listen to how the music talk is talking differently. Good by design, look good. Nothing less than best dressed, just like I should. I remember days when I used to be modest. Now anything on me must be exotic. Snake skin, alligator, cashmere. Yeah, they said Kate wouldn't shop here. Ridiculous price, been a lot here. Money, my freedom, go where I go. And I don't need no came up out of pressure, so I had to see better. Niggas held back, why they was years ahead of us. Now I'm gon' take that shit, no let up. Every chance I get, I'm gon' get with her. It took years to stitch this sweater. Gucci fabric, you know we love her. I'm so chic, they all just shut up. Won't ball like this, then get your brother. I've been shopping in Milan. Grande, spinning big racks because I can. MX black card in my hand. This white dude running through ran it ran. I can't pronounce the shit worth a damn. This drip handcraft for Italian. So yeah, 
that's pretty much all that we got here for this video today. I just love all of these types of different VCA uh, bus compressors. And when it comes from a mastering perspective, I think they're all amazing tools. I'd never count out any of one of them. I would just always pay attention to the source material and what's going on. And usually with something like a master bus compressor, you know, it's going to squeeze your mix. So your mix is going to actually become a little bit more narrow. You know, you're going to kind of be losing a little bit of width technically. Yeah, but you're gaining a lot of solidity. You're gaining weight. And depending on what type of master bus compressor that you're using, it could really like change the whole song even just the db of compression just change the the way the song is emotionally talking to somebody and that's the most important thing about making music how does it make you feel how does it make your chest buckle up how does it make you you quirk a little bit how does it make you feel on the inside you know what i mean does it make you want to get up and move you know does it make your body want to respond and yeah that's pretty much all that i had for this video here today just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family don't forget to like comment and subscribe appreciate you guys now peace